Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Up to the Great Lux. I'm Good to the Great. And today we're looking at Elliot Cadeau. I've been requested to do this video so many times. And the crazy thing is I've done this video multiple times and every time I've filmed it, something happened with the files and like, it's just gone. So hopefully this video does well because I've been kind of fighting this for a while. I don't believe he has an Instagram or anything like that. Let me check really quick, see if we can look there, but I don't think he does. So we're just gonna look at Google images and base it off of that. It's pretty simple how he got his locks, but let's get into it. There's, there's uh, five. Yeah, five steps to getting locks just like him. It's actually four. So uh, we're just gonna go and look at some of these photos so you guys can see who I'm talking about. This is a free form type of look. Let's get a close up and you're able to see actually what he's doing with his hair. Look at the front, you're able to see that he has some two strand twists in and uh, leads us on to what he's possibly doing to get his hair this way. It's actually really easy to get your hair this way. Um, like I said, there's four steps to follow. So we're going to start with step number one. Step number one, figure out your hair type. With Elliot Cadeau, he has a 4B hair type. This is very common with dreadlocks. A lot of people with dreadlocks have that 4B hair type. And uh, the thing about the 4B, it locks up very easy, it locks up very fast, and it locks up very tight just because of the curl pattern is very tight and wants to lock up. Um, Let's go back to that first photo we've seen, and you can see that he has some coils up here, which is a prime example about uh, or of what he's actually doing. And I've seen some photos before of um, how he started and how he just maintains it. So that's gonna be lead on to the next thing, the next step. Like I said, first step is figure out the hair type with the 4B, then you can move on to the method. This is him before his hair now, a little older photo, but still you get that, that nappy look and he still has continued that look. But now it's just a little bit more uniform and the uniformity comes from the method that he chose. And I'm trying to see if there's a photo of him with a method, but I'm showing you guys really quickly, just some, um, this photo is really blurry, but I'm showing you guys just like his hair kind of before, before like it is now. But even in this photo, you can see that he has some, some twists in as well. And it's really plain and simple. So you got a 4B hair type and from the 4B hair type, he started doing a method. The method he chose was doing two strand twist and then does a twist out. The twist out creates a puffy look and then he just keeps it very puffy with a very freeform like look. Um, you guys can do this as well. And two strand twist is actually very easy to do. You can do it on yourself and I'd actually encourage you to do it on yourself, but that is locks are more, more sectioned. And um, this is what to expect after doing two strand twist uh, and just allowing it to do its own thing after a while. He doesn't do any hairstyles, which is one of the steps, but there's not really any hairstyles you can do unless um, you just continue to do two strand twists. Like this is a prime example of what his hair looks like in the two strand twist. So it's plain and simple, all right? We'll run it down one more time. He has a 4B hair type. Uh, the method he chose is two strand twist with a twist out. Um, there is two different ways you can get dreadlocks with two strand twist. One of the methods is doing a two strand twist, leaving the two strand twist in. And then the <coughs> second method is to do two strand twist and then do a twist out just like Elliot Cadeau. And uh, it's very easy to do. All you do is twist the hair clockwise with gel and then, or you could do it without gel, you could just make sure that the hair is damp. So if you twist all the hair clockwise and then go in with the two strand twist counterclockwise, that's gonna make the two strand twist hold. All right, if you go in the same direction both ways, the two strand twists are gonna unravel. And a lot of people face that that struggle of doing two strand twist and then unraveling. The reason it unravels is because you're doing the two strand twist one way and you're doing the, uh, are you doing the twist one way and then you're doing the two strand twist the same direction. That's why it's gonna unravel. You always have to do it in the opposite direction. So if you're twisting your hair clockwise, you wanna go in back and do a two strand twist counterclockwise or vice versa. Really quick, since you have locks or you plan on getting them, then I would suggest signing up for the Great Locks newsletter down below. Greatlocks.com is actually offering 10% off to everyone who subscribes to the newsletter for a limited time. That means you can get 10% off on all of your favorite products like the ACB shampoo, the hair growth oil, or even the locking gel, which sells out extremely fast. And we did just recently restock on all of your favorite products so you guys can stock up. In the newsletter, you can also access me personally for any dreadlock help that you need. So you guys can click the link down below and join the newsletter on Greatlocks com to enjoy all the benefits of being a subscriber but honestly i every time i've tried to do a video on elliot cadeau it's always been tough to try to find photos that are recent because he doesn't have a social media as far as i know i'm sure he does but i, I haven't found too much but for the most part um i feel like this is one of the most recent ones and it's just his hair becoming more mature and what's interesting is his hair looks a little shorter now than it did um prior when he had the two strand twist in and the reason that is is because over time that hair when you twist it and it's still in the beginning stages, it's going to start to shrink as it matures. And there's always gonna be shrinkage in the beginning stages, um, all the way up until the point it fully matures. So that's one thing that you have to expect when having locks, um, no matter what you choose to do with your locks. Um, 
But just like Elliot Cadell, like this, you can see the two strand twist in. And it's really cool hairstyle. And like, you don't have to do it super neat. You can literally just do the two strand twist and you can keep them in for a little bit, do a twist out. Uh, and realistically, he could have possibly did a two strand twist and left the two strand twist in, just allow that new growth to come in. Um, but either way, he did that method. You can see it obviously in a lot of these photos, but just to run it by you guys one more time, have a 4B hair type and then do two strand twist. You can either leave the two strand twist in or do a twist out and then from there, just do two strand twist to maintain it. And as far as hairstyles, that's the that's the whole thing, it's just two strand twist. It's very plain and simple and very easy to do. I would encourage you guys to do it as well if you wanna go for this type of hairstyle. The biggest thing is you have to focus on allowing that new growth to come in, especially with doing your hair to look like, uh, or making your hair look like Elliot Cadeau's. Very popular and I think it's just like one of the popular hairstyles of the dreadlocks these days. Also, I do wanna mention guys, I'm just gonna go head over here really quick, go to greatlocks.com. I'm gonna show you guys that all the products are actually back in stock. Um, a lot of people were asking, when is the Great Locks locking gel gonna come back in stock? Well, they're all back in stock right now. The ACV shampoo, the locking gel, and the hair growth oil are all back in stock and um, you guys can get it now. The links are down below. If you sign up for the newsletter, you actually can save money. I believe it's 10% off. So you can join when you log on to greatlocks.com. Go and stock up because these sell out extremely fast. Last time we sold out in 15 days, which is crazy. But other than that, comment down below who you guys wanna see next. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.